Today we will talk about management, how to manage the HP Media dashboard and with different settings. In the management tab, a user has different types of functionalities related with the display, the users and the related settings. Organization, using this sub menu, a user can see the information about this organization but cannot modify it. Displays, using the sub menu, a user can see the number of displays that are registered on the server side. On the display page in the management tab, a user can see the details about the displays like the display status for login, sync server, downloading, default layout, last accessed, last downloaded, tags, display, IP, etc. A user can directly search for any display from the display page using the search field with the display name and tags. For opening display tab, go to management class display. Now you will see the below screen. After selecting any display, a user can use the below option for that particular display. Edit. To update and register display, a user can select that display from the list and click on the edit button. Using this option, a user will be able to edit the registered display information like the display name, tags, interleave default, display owner, etc. Delete. To delete any registered display, a user can select that display from the list and click on the delete button. To delete it screenshots using this option a user is able to see the screenshot of a particular display settings using this option a user can set settings for selected display after selecting the setting option the display settings page will open export to export all the pages or current pages on the display page a user has the excel and a pdf button the user just has to click on the button to export the pages display setting page contains the following setting options think period let me show you how does it look like. Sync period. Using this option, a user can set a sync period for the display to sync with server. A default sync period is set with the repeat type like repeat daily and repeat every one hour. A user can set a sync period as daily, weekly and monthly. To save the selected setting, a user has to click on the update button. A display with a set sync period can communicate with the server only for that specific sync period to send requests from the server side to the client monitor on and off. Using this option, a user can set the monitor on and off timings for the selected display. Business from and to. A server makes the entries of the display on and off timings during the business hours. Commands. Using this option, a user can give reboot shutdown commands to the selected display directly from the server side. After selecting the command, a user needs to click on the send button to send the command from the server side. Capture screen. In this field, a user has three options. Capture screen to capture the screenshot of the selected display on a user's request. Schedule capture screen to set the time format, interval and maximum number of screenshots counts for a selected display to capture the screen. View screenshots to view the captured screenshot on a specific display. Library info. Library info. This Using this option, a user can manage the library size of the player by performing various operations such as delete all, delete selected and update library size limit. Client settings. Client settings. In this option, a user has different settings. Option to set client. A user can specify the library directory over here for a particular display. Display. A user can set the full screen setting, height, width, vertical height, vertical width, rotation for the display. Controller. Here a user can set a required setup path. Others. A user can specify the screen capture path to be saved as a particular location. Group security. Using this option, a user can assign group security for the users. Once assigned any user from a non-member list into a member list, then the particular user can do the scheduling on a particular display. Display group. Using this tab, a user can create group of displays where the display added in a particular display group gets the same schedule as the other display in that group. Search. A user can search for any display group using the search field on the display group page to assign Display in display group. Select the display group in which you want to add a display. Select the display from display column and click on the move button. Selected displays get added in a particular display group. You can add a single display or a multiple displays at the time as shown in the below image. Add a display group. Once we click on the display group, click on the add button to add the display group. A user can create a new display group using this option. After clicking on this button, a new page will open where the user can give name a display group and write its description. To save the display group, click on the save button. 
edit. Using this option, a user can update any added display group names and their descriptions. Delete. Using this option, a user can delete the selected display group. Schedule authority. When a particular user is added to a display group, all these displays can be added to that display group. Group member. Using this option, a user can add displays in the selected display group. To add a display in the display group, follow the below steps. Click on the group member tab. New section will be open. Select the display from the list of displays on the right side list and click on the arrow button above that list. Selected displays will move to the left side after clicking on the arrow button above the selected display list. After selecting and moving the display to the display group, click on the update button to save the settings. Settings that can be assigned to displays that are added in the display group are as follows. Sync period. Using this option, a user can set the same sync period for all the group of displays. Monitor on and off. Using this option, a user can set the same monitor on and off timing for the group display. Business on and off. A server makes an entry of the display group on and off timing during the business hours. Selected business on and off time. Capture screen. Using this option, a user can send capture screen request for a display group and can also set scheduled capture screen settings such as the interval and the maximum image limit. After selecting the settings, click on the schedule button to save commands. Using this option, a user can give a reboot or a shutdown command to the display and in the display group at the same time. After selecting the command, click on the send button to the send selected command for the display group. Other options available on the display group page are as below. Location. By using this option, a user can create location for a particular display group. Now for users, let's click on the management button and click on the users. This is a sub menu in the management. Tab. This submenu in the management tab is used to list the available users of the servers. Search. You can search any user by using a search field such as username, user type, retired status, ascending and descending order, etc. To add a user, user can add a new user using plus button. After clicking on this button, a new page will open up. Enter the following details of the user which you want to add and then click on the save button. Menu security. Once you click on the menu button, security. This option is used to secure the menu. Only the selected menu and sub menu fields should be available to the users added in that particular organization. Module security. This option is used to give secure the module. Only the selected module should be available to the users added in that particular group. Buttons. This option is used to secure the button. Only the selected buttons will be available to the users added in that particular organization. A layout permission. This option gives the layout permissions access only to those users who are added to the group. Organization admin has rights to assign this above security options for a particular user. Settings. Resolution. Once we click on the management button, we click on the resolutions. This submenu is used for creating a template for screen resolution with a client requirement of height and width for a specific purpose. User can add a new template or delete the existing one from the list. Note: A user can delete or edit only those templates which are created by him. Display Profile By using this option on the management tab, a user can create a display profile with some specific settings and assign them to the required registered displays by adding them from the group security menu. Available options on this page are as below. Add Profile create a new display profile, click on the plus button on the right bottom of the screen. Enter the valid name of the display profile and click on the add button. So there are multiple options where, which is available over here where you can update the settings, you can copy the profile, you can delete the profile. So select any display profile from the list to assign a setting to add a display in the display profile. Available display profile setting options are as below. Client. Here a user can Give XMDS update interval. It is the time interval to check for updates in seconds. Web address to check the internet connectivity. Library information setting and interval used to upload the library info from the server side in hours. FTP to set FTP download mode, host name, username and password. Communication here a user can set the communication interval to connect to the internet. Then you have options like serial port. Using this tab, a user can set baud rate, byte size, parity, stop bit, serial port, etc. 
controller. So you have different this kind of options where you, can, you have controller using this option, a user can set the reboot machine status, display log using the tab, user can set log status, log repeat type, etc. Other from here, a user can set the network settings, audio and client log level for the player log. This option helps to set the log status and the other required fields. Status, stats. This option helps to set the stats status and other required fields for the player same as log option. Sync server. User can set the sync server status from this tab. You also have options like QMS, proxy, general and content. Mail subscription. This functionality helps the user to get notified by mail service when some specific changes are done for or by the display. Mail subscription setting should always be on to use this functionality. A user has to subscribe to the sub specific functions for which a mail will be generated. One can subscribe from the user tab on the mail subscription page. To use this mail subscription functionality for the display specific purpose, the display should be added to the specific module subscribed group. There are two versions of this functionality, user specific and display specific. User specific, if the user only subscribes to the add, edit and delete user options, then only a mail for changes done should be sent to the main user who has subscribed to this. Display specific, there are five modules which are included in this function, which is display on, display off, add schedule, edit schedule and delete schedule. Thank you. I hope the session on management was helpful to you. To know more about how to generate reports, kindly check video on reports. Have a good day ahead. Thank you.